we are here in Adobe Animate. So this is the new version of Flash, if you remember that from the 90s. So here, what I've done, I'm gonna walk you through this project. I've drawn something, kept the animation the same, but edited it. Kept the animation the same, but edited it. Let me show you how I did it. The first thing you need to know how to do is paint. So go ahead and find that paintbrush in your drawing app. Whether it's an app or a program you're using Anime or Adobe, it doesn't matter. The first thing you always want to do is locate your paintbrush. The second most important thing is changing the color and the size. So where it lives in Adobe Animate is in this panel called Properties. So go ahead and find this option for Fill. Click on that yellow square and it'll change colors. And here is your size. Drag that here to make that brush grow. So as I finish up on my first drawing, I am going to jump into my properties panel here and change that color orange to black so I can finish up the eyeballs here. And let me go ahead and size up my brush so that I don't have to work on these eyeballs for too long. Knock it out in one go. Perfect, big old coals. So now you're ready to draw your second frame. Maybe it's a snowman melting, maybe it is snowflakes falling, maybe it's a simple ball bounce. I want you to use your imagination. Watch me. So down here in my timeline, um, I am gonna click on the second frame, this box here. This is the first frame, and I wanna be able to drag this blue bar back and forth to be able to watch the animation that I draw. So I need to draw the second frame here, and what I'm gonna do is use the hotkey F6. And what it did is it made a second drawing. And now I can use my arrow in the toolbar over here to start moving things around. And as I do that, it's gonna cause this snowman to look like he is melting. You also have the option to use this second arrow in the toolbar. It's called the free transform. So this is where I squish things and then come back to the arrow to move them. <laughs> okay, so we have these three frames and I'm moving things around. I'm clicking F6. But the problem is, is that I don't know where it was in the past. So that's what onion skin is for. And it lives right here in the toolbar, properties toolbar of the timeline, okay? So I'm gonna click on these two circles here. And now I can see in the past. If I drag through, you'll notice frame before is red and the frame after is green. And so now as I move this down, I know exactly how far I'm moving it from where it was in the previous frame. And I'm gonna turn off my onion skin so I can watch it back. And the play button lives over here. <laughs> so you're gonna notice that it looks really fast when you're playing it back. And the reason it looks fast is because the way we're used to watching animation on TV and in movies is at 30 frames. So each one of these drawings is a frame, 30 frames per one second. So for a movie that's 90 minutes, an hour and a half, that is a lot of these little drawings. So what I do is I come over here <clears throat> and remember how we clicked F6 to add one of these new black dots? Well, if I add F5, it adds a hold. So now that drawing lasts for five frames and the other ones last for one or two. So if I put, if I add F5, some dots here, some holds here, I mean, and some holds here. And I play it back. Now I have an animation that lasts two seconds and it's just much easier to watch. People are going to enjoy it a lot. Now that it's looking really good, it's not a bad time to come in with your paintbrush again and your properties, which live underneath this three lines here. 
picking your colors. Maybe I'll pick a gray and I'll add some more details. Let's see. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Let's say these are snowflakes. And then it'll hold them. And then I can come here and turn on my onion skin. And let's go ahead and add these things falling down so that it looks like This is gonna make such a fun Christmas card or just a personalized message for a friend. You are gonna be like a little Christmas holiday elf with a little project like this. So I will save your money this year and send something homemade. Thanks so much.